Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this fingerprint icon using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So before we start, we need to create a new document and for that we go to File, New. So like I always, I'm using my 1820 with the background. If you don't have any of these presets, you can create a new one. Just only put the width and the height and click on that plus and you create a new preset. I'm leaving the rest as it is. If not, you can use any other preset that you like with any um, sizes for the page. Okay, so I'm leaving everything as it is and I click create. So now we have our new canvas. So before we continue, make sure that go to view and make sure that you have selected uh, show guides show rulers, show context toolbar, and show toolbar. Perfect, with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a grid to see what I'm doing and to actually space everything accordingly. So the first thing I'm going to view and I'm going to put uh, click show grid. Then I'm going to view again and let's open grid and access manage management. I'm going to basics. I'm going to uh, put 100 pixels and a division of 10. Now, other thing that you have to do to this to work, go to the top where you have your snapping. Click in that arrow down so you bring this window and make sure that you have snap to grid. That one there is selected. If not, it's not going to uh, snap to the grid. So first thing is we are going to create a circle. So I'm going to click on my circle tool and I'm going to click in any of these ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold command shift, click and drag to create a small circle, something like that. Okay, let me zoom in. So one, what I'm going to do now is holding control and shift, clicking on this and I'm going to snap to that border there, to that vertical border. So I got one, two, three, four squares actually. Now with that one selected, I'm going to take fill out and I'm going to add just only one pixel stroke. Okay, so now this is going to get a little bit repetitive, but it needs to be done in this way to actually uh, have an effect. So I'm going to click uh, hit command J and I'm going to command shift, click and drag, and I'm going to drag and snap 20 pixels or basically two squares. So I'm going to do the same thing. Always remember to have that 20 pixels in between. So we have one, two, three, four, five. If I'm not mistaken, I've done like that. One, two, three, four, five, yes. And I'm going to create another one. But this one, I'm going to move it. Sorry, that one is 20, Command J. There we go. And this one, I'm going to move it 40, the double. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to lock it at the moment and I'm going to make it invisible for now. Perfect. Now that we have that, now we need to create, we need to start working with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, drag and select everything. And I'm going to convert to curve. That is the way that this is going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here to my node tool and then I'm going to select that node at the bottom and I'm going to hit that uh, button there for break curve, curve. So I'm going to select and delete and I'm going to do the same for everybody. So I'm going to speed it up. Perfect. Now that we are there, I'm going to take that other circle, this one. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to actually hit Command J to duplicate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it and I'm going to snap it in, in the first one day. Now this one, I'm going to make it invisible back again because we are going to use it later on. So now with this one selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate. 
Command Shift, and I'm going to drag up to that one, uh, the second one, and I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Command J, and obviously you need to bring it in there. Command J, make sure that you align it because Command J always it jumps there. Command J coming in here. Command J, and this one is going to be at the middle. Command J. Perfect. Now this one is going to be a little bit more complicated. So what I'm going to do is all these curves for the moment. I'm coming here to my there. And I'm going to command G. So we group them all together. And I'm going to make it like this so I can't select them. I'm going to click and drag to select all these ones. And I'm going to convert them to curve. So now what I'm going to do is... If I do it like this... Uh, let me see which one will be this one there. So I'm going to hit uh, hold alt click and drag to select all those ones there. And now I'm coming here to my break curve. So those ones are now done. So I can click one by one and delete them. Let me see if I'm doing this. Can I do it all together? I'm assuming that yes. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same with these ones at the top. So basically, we can delete all of those ones. I think I'm missing one. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, I need to select this one. Come on, J. Snap there. Now we are talking. So I'm going to select all my ellipses like this. I'm going to convert it to curve. I'm coming here. I'm going to click and drag all those ones. I'm going to break the curve, select everything back again, and then this one at the top. So basically, now we have these. As, as you can see, now it's it start taking form. So this. Uh, ellipse that I got there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to each one of these ones and I'm going to add a node that intersect to that curve there. So I'm selecting one by one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these ones and as you can see now there is a point that makes a circular shape you will see now when when i'm deleting these ones so now i click and drag and select all those ones delete them so now i can take this one and for now i'm going to just make it invisible and you cannot select it perfect so now that we are there, now we have another task uh, in front of us. It's basically like th this one. You select those two curves, click and drag. Now we are going to join the curves. So we do the same thing for every everybody. Oh, hold a second. This one needs to uh, ungroup. So now we can select them, this one and this one. The join curve this one and this one join curve this one and this one click and drag select join 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 you will see why just in a moment this one is fine this one and this one now click join Click and join. 
click and join. I know it gets a little bit tedious. Perfect. So now that we have all those ones, basically these ones are, as you can see, each one is one curve. And we need it as a curve for what we are going to do next. So now what we have to do is we need to start establishing those patterns, you know, that is like a, simulates um, uh, a fingerprint. So what we are going to do is, if you click in one, let's go back to our node tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in there, I'm going to click in there, and then I'm going to click somewhere in between. I'm going to select that one, break. And now, as you can see, there is an opening. So we are going to do the same. Let's click in there, and let's click in there. So that one there, open, click. And as you can see, now we start uh, having that shape. So I'm going to speed up also this part because it's quite repetitive. Uh, but you got, you have the idea already. So let me let me start. Okay, I think it like that is fine. So now I'm going to click and drag and select everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming here to my stroke and let's make it a little bit thicker. I think it's something like that will be fine. Let's make it, let's give it six pixels. Perfect, like that is fine. Okay, like that is fine. I'm going to click and drag and let's group them. So they are all together we can actually get that circle now and we can move it some somewhere there so we more or less center it and what we can do is we can give it a i don't know a four pixels and let's give it a background let's make it white something like that i think that is fine let's click and drag and group them so now it's just one and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's put it there on the center of the page. Um, margin and margin will be fine. Perfect. So now the last part, basically let's go to view. Let's hide the grid. And like I always do, I'm going to click and drag and make my background. So this one, no day and swatches i'm going to use that color there let's send it to the bottom okay so that's it for this video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up hit the notification bell and please leave, leave any comment in the section down below like always thank you very much for watching and i'm seeing you in the next video